Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Uh, from uh, Venice, and this is uh, St. Mark's Square here. This is a Campanile uh, behind us, which we've just uh, just climbed. Actually, I'll give you a quick 360 where we are. This is the Ducal Palace, uh, Doge's Palace, which is connected. And come round, and here's the uh, the famous lagoon. Oh, lots of gondolas here. We'll talk about that in a minute. The, the, the lagoon across to the islands across there, and you come right round and uh, back to where we are and the Grand Canal sort of comes out uh, it's just sort of back there and where the other basilica is um, but uh, I, we, this is our second attempt at this video actually because we tried to make this video just a minute ago and we got told off for sitting on the steps they're a bit precious about in. things here I tell you anyway we've got the sun in our eyes so we come around there a little bit more and um, but I've been here to Venice before but 39 years ago so that, that's a long time <laughs> even for me um, and that was uh, as part of a trip where I, I came here and I went to Switzerland and then went to see the European Football Championships of 1980 in Italy but thereby hangs a tale which I might tell another time. Quite an exciting trip. But Julie here has never been to Italy, but all, well, sorry, you've never been to Venice before but you've always fancied coming here. Can you tell the listener or the viewer about that? Since I was a little girl, I think it's a, a girl thing, I always had a dream that I would fall in love and we would come to Venice and ride on the gondola. So 60 years it's taken me to get here. Living your age away. So <laughs> there you go. 60 years on, that's what I did today. Yeah, and we actually um, went on a gondola today, we didn't did. we? I, I've never been on one before. It's a, it's a bit corny, but it's, it's one of those experiences I suppose you have to do at least once. Uh, we didn't actually pay for it. It was actually a birthday present to Julie from her Thank brother. You. Thank you very much for that, Nick, because uh, they're not cheap. <laughs> but it is, it is quite an experience. But one thing we've learned since we've been here, and I mean, I've been here before, and we've been to other sort of waterborne cities like Amsterdam, for example, and other cities where rivers and water is an important part of life. But here, water is everything. Everything, isn't it? it is. It's I extraordinary. mean, we came in this morning from we're staying at a place called Marghera, which is just the other side of the lagoon from here. Um, we come in and we got a water taxi, sorry, a Vaporetto, not a water taxi, a Vaporetto, which is like a public water boat, um, bus if you want to put it that way, um, down into the city. We came down the whole length of the Grand Canal from the top right down past the Rialto Bridge down here to St Mark's Square and you, you suddenly realise by doing that that you're seeing the city as it's meant to be seen because all the buildings face the canal they don't face the, the, the roads or the not roads they're the walkways and the bridges and the paths and alleyways etc everything faces the, the water and everything runs on the water we saw an ambulance didn't we yeah ambulance, and that, uh, the police the police uh, going along the rubbish, the rubbish the, collectors the yeah all that sort of thing everything it comes water. along but on the, on the tour group you know can we move along a bit <laughs> they're gonna get moved. <laughs> it's, it's all going and that it's is one of the problems on. because venice is a very very popular city with tourists we're two tourists we're here so we can't really moan about it but i mean i can only imagine what it's like in the height of summer we're obviously sort of late in september hang on let's come around like that um and it's still very busy isn't it but yeah, we, we haven't had too we haven't done too wandered. bad have we we've yeah, wandered we like to explore get away from the beaten track a little bit yeah um we did that earlier on when we played to uh Do dosadoro i think is the name of the area uh, that way. yeah it's over that way. we're going to go back there in a minute um lovely little bridges and, and yes. sort of mini canals along that bit yeah, uh, and, and far more quieter and we compared it to, to triana in seville if anyone's been to triana in seville it's a much quieter um, more family sort of orientated where all the locals were and we found the equivalent of Spanish tapas bars they called it Osterias Osteria. and I can't remember yeah. what they called tapas uh, Leslie a friend from America said you must go to one of these places when you're in Venice we found a couple and, and they're really good very very nice vibe in them you know very much like you know buying a little bite-sized uh, pieces so um, you always wanted to come here um, so your, your impressions, I know you've given a bit away already, but it got, yeah, has it lived it was, up to expectations for us? It has. It was weird last night because we arrived late afternoon, so by the time we started exploring, it was starting to get dark. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if any of you have seen the film Don't Look Now with um, <laughs> Donna Sutherland and Julie Christie, but it's really scary. So we're walking around. It's like a complete maze. Yes. Not particularly yeah. well lit. Very easy to get lost, I but you know, spent, that's part well, of the attraction. I'm not sure about like, this place, yeah. but of course, we woke up this morning took the water taxi along the Grand Canal 
and it was like a Canaletto painting or a Turner. Mm. I was in it. It, yeah. it came alive yeah. and suddenly I got Venice at that point and yeah, extraordinary. Just how you imagine it. And, and tomorrow we're going on another boat trip. We're going to the island of Murano where all the glass is made. So, I mean, that's like a four hour trip, I do believe, out in the boat to there because once again, you've got to get everywhere by boat. And one of the things we thought of actually, if people have cars here, um, well, they can't have cars in the city because obviously you can only walk uh, and you can only go by boat of, of, of some form. So people seem to have their own private boats as we would have a car. Uh, but then if they go off the island, do they have a car parked somewhere in a big parking lot on somewhere? <laughs> we don't know. Maybe someone can answer that. So we're going to have another wander around. So we've just been up the Campanile. I was a bit disappointed because it, didn't, it had a lift and not steps. I thought, yeah, I thought half the attraction is actually walking. Yeah, Julie loved it. But, <laughs> but we've got a lift up to the top. But the views are spectacular. And you know, it is one of those cities you need to come to at least once to see it, to experience it, because it is a unique city. I don't think you can say anything more than that, really, can you, about it? So, uh, but we will, because we'll be doing this again tomorrow. I'm sure we'll speak to you again then. Ciao. Ciao.